Good afternoon, I am Mr. Almeida. Mm, uh, this is a tutorial and cartooning illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. Mm, yes. Mm. Okay, I'll stop the accent. I'll just talk normal. Or this is normal. Okay, enough. I just spent 10, 20 seconds just moving my mouse. Anyways, let's get to it. Illustrator. Boom. File. Let's make a new uh, blank document. I'll just keep it um, letter. 8.5 by 11. Doesn't really matter. I'm okay with it. Awesome. We're going to do Bugs Bunny here. Okay, I'm going to place it. And it's going to automatically place this Bugs Bunny uh, caric caricature on this layer. And let me just close this glyphs things. Did the glasses shut up? Quiet. Oh, quiet, please! Thank you. <coughs> Thanks. Yeah. Joe, Joe's interrupting me. If, if you're wondering why this is an awkward <laughs> instructional video, it's because Joe's interrupting me. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. What? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, if it's like a poly shot, right? I want to move it out, then what like thing would I circle? So, like, what? You just write down the movement dolly. On the... No, no, but, like, on the thing? Like, I just write down... Bring your storyboard, I'll show you. <laughs> this tutorial is going very smoothly. Okay. So I have my layer here, and usually I lock this layer, create a new layer, so I don't. Write down Dolly. Just write it down. All right. So um, there, I'm going to show you two ways you can do your cartoon character. And um, all right. So for example, the way I spe would specifically want to do it is when designing vector illustrations for animation, you want to have your layers separated so you can have uh, easy articulation of the movements afterwards in, say, Flash or After Effects. Okay, um, so in layer one, I'm going to just call this one, I'm going to focus on error, error, right, okay, I'm going to focus on here, and I'm going to show you the way I do it, and then another way you could do it, okay, so, say I use my pen tool, and um, I'm going to get rid of smart guides and any other guides here, because they kind of interfere with the creation of the, um, of the pen tool, all right, so let me... Just go back, delete. I'll start from here again. Okay. Create a nice pen tool around it. Now, you're going to... I do this on purpose because by default, Illustrator has a um, black and white um, selected. you got to understand, I'm going to zoom in on here, is that this is the fill color. And you can say, hey, if you don't want to fill, I want to say none. So notice there's a, no, a slash there. And that gets rid of the inside color. Okay. Right now, my color is black. Probably not the best choice because my outlines are black. So I'll just do this a different obscure color just so you can see for the, um, the purpose of this tutorial. Go back to my pen tool. I'll click on my last point and then recreate the rest of my line. And this is where students have a hard time envisioning is like what, what they'll do is they mistakenly go around this hair piece. you got to envision what the error looked like with the hair on top of it. So I'm actually going to go um, here, let me hold alt. And right. so you should know by this point, by this point, how to use a pen tool and some of the features. So great, I have the the outline, and you know it was okay. I could make changes to it. I can also say, hey, let me convert this to a curve and smooth it out a bit more. And then you get those um, anchor point uh, control arms that allow you to adjust the geometry. And see, I'm here, I'm just cleaning it up. Okay, this point here wasn't a curve. I know that because oh, actually it was because uh, there's arms right here, so I can smooth it out, bring that point down, and so you can start just designing, and you can always adjust and convert those points and uh, make them look smoother. If I needed to, I can go to my pen tool here and say, hey, I didn't want that tool. I don't want that uh, that dot there. It just interferes. Go back to it, and maybe. Like I say, the more, the less points, the more smooth and organic it looks. Okay. So, anyways, that's great. Like I have that filled out, and I want to make it a black stroke with a gray or um, gray interior. So, a little trick I do. I'm going to show students again. Is I'm just going to get a random shape here, right? And I'm going to have my swatch library pop up. See how I bring the foreground color to the front? Okay, so that's why I'm able to change the inside color with anything I want. But what if I want a specific color, like the gray used in the bitmap image in layer one? So I grab a shape, just random rectangle, for example, get my eyedropper tool. And uh, so I'm just going to show you that right there. Okay. If I grab this gray, I've now selected that pixel. Okay, 
the trick is I can grab that into my Swatch library and have that grade for future preferences, okay? Nice and little neat feature to do is do a group. We call this, uh, I'll call this bugs for now. And that gray will be in there. And any other color I use afterwards, I can just drop into that folder and it's that library of colors are used throughout. So while I'm in it, I might as well grab that red. See what I'm doing? I'm going to the fill color, bringing it into my library here, and then maybe this red. And then black and white, black is white, you know, just you can use that too. But if you want to, you can use that white. You can bring that white in as well. And I say I want that black in particular. So it's a nice feature to get the, the color correction. Is there any other colors here? No. No. Cool. Cool. So if I were to um, fill this shape right here, because technically if I go to view, you can see that that's all there is, is just that line. Okay. So I'm going to tell the inside color to be that gray, right? And I want the stroke to be, well, in this case, I'm actually going to say none. And you're like, what? Why are you doing that, sir? Well, I'm going to press Command C. So I've copied it. And I press Command F. I paste it. I paste it right above it. Okay. And Command Z again. I'm now going to swap the color so there's no um, inside color. And I'm going to put a stroke on that. Okay. And with your stroke tool, I'm going to bring this out here. Uh, if you click on show options, you get more more features you can play with. You can pl uh, play with the, uh, let me just hide the background, the thickness of the stroke. Okay. Um, if you're happy with the thickness, yeah. what I do like doing is expanding the shape. Actually, before I do that, some people are asking, um, what about that line segment? How do I delete line segments? My little trick is, in between the line segment, go to your add anchor point tool, add a point in between. Okay, I, I get it. I, I missed. All right. Then grab your correct selection tool, specify that point specifically. See how that, that one's red selected and these ones are not? When I press delete, I'll delete that line segment. Okay? Command zero. And voila. So, did I do that too much? Yeah. Then I like to go to expand and make that stroke and now a shape. Okay? And then from there, you can plane with uh, line thickness if you wanted to grab certain points. See how it looks thick to thin? It's a bit of a stylized thing. And if you want this to be thinner, you can bring that in. See how it kind of looks now like the um, the original artwork of the um, the animator or the uh, cartoonist, and I'll maybe bring this, these points here. And here I have a few extra points. I'm not too sure what happened, but not a big deal. I just go and say delete these points; they're not needed. Mm, I'm a little scared to press this one. Why, should, why am I scared? I'm a, I'm a professional, right? Oh my gosh. But that's probably the fear and anxiety students have, you know, about like making the wrong decision, wrong move. Hopefully, this video can help uh, alleviate that. Right. So you notice how you can see that white. That was actually the shape below. Okay. So, anyways, a lot of work on that 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 one ear, right? Let's bring back the image. Okay. Now, the other way I want to mention, to show you guys, is using lines to trim shapes. Okay. Not not the most recommended method. Now I'll show you this method with um, the other ear. Okay. Say I had. Oh, I suck. Bad example. Bad teacher. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Say you just had the line, and like say for example, Steph, you had a line. You didn't actually close the shapes, but you had the lines there. Okay. What you can do, and this is a, an easy method. I'm just going to bring this to the side here. You can see what's going on. Here's the line. Okay. Go object and expand it. And this is called the, the cookie cutter method. If I were to grab another shape, I'm just going to say a big rectangle. And to exp change the, I'll change the color so you don't get confused. Okay. If I brought the shape and I'm going to press command shift and, well, I can right click and just say, hey, sent to the back. That's what I did. I just did a shortcut for it. So imagine the cookie color method. The the purple color is the dough. And our blue line, which has been expanded, is the cookie color profile. 
Okay? Does that make sense or not? If I get my Pathfinder tools. Right? And if I click the, the Divide tool, and uh, in order to divide, you need at least two objects or more selected. So I have the blue line and the... Okay? Um, in retrospect, let me just put this off because there's no line segment at the bottom here. Okay? If I divide this, go to Object and Ungroup, I can grab the excess dough. Do you guys see what happened there? And then I have this shape that has that profile of that, that shape. So I'm using line. And if you watch the video, rewind. It's getting the line, expanding it, making sure you have one big shape. So imagine if I actually outlined all Bugs Bunny with line. If I put one big rectangle behind it, and it had the lines on top, and if I divided, this is the tool you want to use, and ungrouped afterwards, I can now pick and choose. Now, everything will be purple. But guess what? You can go in afterwards and select the parts you want and what color you want. All right. That's not a hard thing. So watch this. I grab this. This is going to blow your mind. Ready? Command X. I cut it. You make a new layer. Command V or Command F. But notice I'm on that layer, so it's on that layer. right? And if you made a mistake, oh shoot, I drew this on the wrong layer. Well, just select it, cut it, go to the layer you want, and paste it in. That's it. Is that cool? Now, Steph, with yours, I know you have those lines. I might be recording this. Maybe I should stop.